Subscribe to James the Sheriff Dixon, you motherfuckers. There's no such thing as an evil turkey. Oh, wait. I lied. Shut the fuck up, you stupid bitch. I'm gonna drink your blood like cranberry sauce, Mimi. Once again, it is time for Bad Movie Friday. Hello, everyone, and this past week I watched Thanks Killing, as I would say would be for the holiday movie that I would watch. So, let's jump right into this one, guys. You saw from the clip, I used a new clip instead of reusing one like I did for Birdemic, which... So far, I still think the second Birdemic is the, wor the worst movie I have seen so far. I have not found a worse movie. You saw the clip at the very beginning, so you already know that this one is going to be bad when I show you the clips that I picked as my favorite clips from this movie. So, let's jump right into this one and talk about what I thought about this movie. So, I watched this this past week, and um, I say week and not weekend because I wanted to watch this closer to Thanksgiving, and... I didn't watch it on Thanksgiving because then I wouldn't have time to edit and upload this video because Thanksgiving up with my family. So here we go. Um, so yeah, um, the, the movie is about an hour long, so it just barely makes it. It doesn't even, I don't really see it as a movie, so it's an hour long. You can finish it within a lunchtime schedule. It's like, it's like a lot, as long as a TV show today, like on CW or whatever. Like it's like, it's pretty much about as long as a Supernatural episode if you can think about like that or walking dead episode with commercials so the story goes a turkey is brought back to life because the white white people pretty much pissed off the pilgrims at thanksgiving and he and the turkey um an indian cursed a turkey to go around killing people it kind of reminds me of the other another movie with this kind of story called rubber it was on netflix for a while i have not seen it it's which it's another movie where a tire is like cursed and goes around killing its past owners. I have not seen that movie, and I'll probably watch it at some point for this series. Ooh, that's a that's a good idea, Rubber. I'm sure I'm pretty sure a bunch of you have heard about that one. But yeah, yeah, that's a, tur a homicidal turkey goes around killing people. That's what it said. So on I that's the story pretty much. So on IMDb, there the budget was three thousand five hundred dollars. And it does not have a return budget. Now there are three movies of these, and I only watched the first one. You, you, you're, you're gonna be damn sure that I'm gonna watch the second and third one for this for the for this overall series that I'm that I've started. Not like back to back because that's not what I do. I already have the next movie after this one planned out. It's not the Christmas one. I'm waiting till closer to actually Christmas time because I'll have time off from work to do it to watch it. So yeah, so. Let's talk about the characters. So there are four, there are four, five, four, it was like a day or two ago that I watched this and it's only an hour long. So just forgive me about this. There's like five main characters, I believe so. Um, and um, I say, uh, because the acting is not 100% it has a 4.5 out of 10 on IMDb, which is not the lowest out of the movies that we've seen on that I've shown you that we've talked about. So it's better, way better than Birdemic 2. I'm just going to say it right now. But um, my favorite person is the hillbilly that goes around chasing the turkey after he kills his dog. I, 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 but yeah, that's, that, that's who my favorite person is. I'm not going to show a scene of him because if you want to watch the movie, you can. It's on Amazon. Um, surprisingly enough. But um, yeah, um... Like I said, there's five actor, five main people in it. They're teenagers from high school, but they look like they're 30 years old. And you can tell it's a, stuff, it's a poorly made movie because you can just tell when you watch it. Like, once you see, when I show you the scenes, it's, it's just really good, guys. Um, But yeah, um, I'm at a lot loss for words for this movie. Like, this is one of the more lower-budgeted movies compared to Birdemic. Like... It's just really low budget. Yeah, like I said, there's three of them. I just watched the first one, and... Oh, man, I'm just gonna shut up now and show you the clips. Be back in a minute, guys. Bye, see you in a minute. I hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, 
Thank you, baby. <laughs> God damn, Cheryl! That coffee tastes like shit! What'd you do, take a dump in it? Huh. As a matter of fact, I sure did. I want a fucking divorce! Alright, Dan. <laughs> Allergy season, you know. Fucking weather. But it was nice today, huh? Did you just say fucking? What do you mean? Is that supposed to mean that midgets can't cuss? I wasn't worried about the size of the fuck. I was worried about the age of the fuck. How old are you? 510 years old. Fuck it then, I guess you can say. Hazelnut? Yep. God damn, Cheryl. <laughs> I love the scene with the sheriff. You saw his costume, right? I mean, he was trying to keep, he couldn't grow out an actual mustache like mine. He had to wear a, one from the dollar store. Like, you know that they got that from a dollar store. That. I cut the scene short, by the way. Um, if you want to enjoy the full scene, I recommend you go... Oh, excuse me. I recommend you go watch it. It's every scene with the sheriff fucking gold. I, I fucking loved it. I loved every scene with the sheriff. He was probably one of my favorite characters in this movie. Just the costume alone. You saw the co the coffee scene with him drinking the coffee and then the turkey wearing the, oh my god, the fake fucking, <laughs> the fake glasses that you could also get at a dollar store. Like, my god, like, they fell for that. That was a disguise, by the way. They fell for it. Every person falls for that turkey's disguise. Oh, god. So, there's not really else else much to say about this movie like i said it's only uh, oh my hair is sticking up it's only like an hour long so again anybody with a short mental capacity could sit through it but those are my two favorite scenes that i found and again sorry about the beginning of the of the very beginning evil turkeys aren't at the same time no i'm not because this movie is gold I, I still think the stuff is my favorite bad movie that I have seen so far. If I had to rank this, I would probably put this right behind the stuff. But um, so let's see what our next bad movie is going to be. I'm gonna leave it at that. Again, I don't have anything else to say about this movie other than it's an hour long, and if I were to talk about it any further, I would give shit away. So let's. See what our next bad movie. Wait, 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 wait. I need to rate it. I give this a five out of five stars. Even though this is not as good as the stuff. Okay, okay. Now let's see. Now that that's all the way. Now let's see what next week's bad movie Friday is. Be right back, everybody. Times and a stare death right in the face. What does it look like? What? What does death look like? <laughs> I don't know. What? Kind of uh, hard to explain. You two young men are staying anyway. I understand. Oh, you do? Do you? <laughs> I know what death looks like. Oh, that's good, that's good. What's, uh, what's it look like, huh? It looks something like this. <laughs> Troll. God, that looks terrible. Well, I thought this was going to be bad and I ended up liking it. Now I know there's a second one and I've already, I haven't seen it. I've seen like clips of it online. I think I'll like that one, but I haven't seen the majority of it. Now I know this movie is going to be longer than an hour, so I'm going to have to go through with it and pull through with this movie. 
So that's the next movie is Troll. All right, we're going to do it next Friday. So I will see you guys then. I'm going to end the video there. So Troll. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. If you like what you've been seeing, please like and subscribe for more. And this is James saying, I'll let Brandon Rogers take it from here. Peace. All right, um, I just want to shout out an amazing channel, uh, James the Sheriff Dixon. Oh, he's such a great guy, and he is super cool for coming to the show. I'm glad I got to meet him in person, and you should subscribe.